will be launching very soon in Paris. Uber bought nearly 600 acres of land for 9.5 million. Seems like robots now know our boobs better than our boyfriends. Welcome back to another episode of MLM Episode number 3, Monday Lawns with Michelle I'm the one, it's good to see you guys again And as usual, we'll be sharing with you all the latest tech news from last week I'm still following through the whole Samsung Galaxy Fold 2 news but because I love my job so it's no big deal. Last week we shared with you some leaked images of the Samsung Galaxy Fold 2 we found on the internet and we sported a vertical fold design. We managed to get some very good feedback from the locals too but last week we were not sure how much it might be when it's released or when it might release and this week we have the answers ready so sit back and listen to what I have to say. 1. Samsung could show off its hottest phones S11 and Fold 2 together before the Mobile World Congress in February. 2. Samsung is ditching their flexible plastic for foldable glass as it is more durable and can help Samsung overcome the Fold's well-known quality issues. What did I say about the Samsung Ultra Thin Glass again? 3. There are rumours about a new S Pen that might come together with the Fold 2. Will it be foldable as well? 4. Finally, it may be sold for $900, making it half less than the Fold 1. Damn! Do you own a Huawei P30? The crazy zoom is super crazy, right? Well, good news to you, Huawei users. P40 will be launching very soon in Paris, end of March, as confirmed by Richard Yu, the CEO of Huawei's consumer division. Huawei P40 will set to run the latest Android 10, overlaid with their own EMUI interface. But it doesn't have access to Google's apps or Google services such as Google Maps or Google Play Store. Sadly, site loading won't be possible too. So that's really gonna affect P40's international appeal, right? I'm guessing the P40 could come with an improved 10 times optical zoom with redesigned periscope lens array, meaning higher digital zoom, as well as better megapixel count, which will retain more detail even after heavy noise reduction from the software. In other words, if you zoom in and take a picture of your Xiaokeke, you can look deep deep into his eyes without dealing with a blurry image. Question is, will you guys still be interested in a Huawei phone if you cannot access to Google Apps or Google services? Let's see what the locals have to say. Huawei P40. No. Yes. No. Yeah. But it won't be able to access to Google Play Store and Google services because of the Google ban. Okay. Would you still buy it? Maybe not. No. I not choose for if cannot use for the Google. It's not a heavy Google user. It does not really make a difference for me. No. no. Yeah, no. <laughs> Guys, PC or console? Even the Witcher Henry Cable chose PC. PlayStation or Xbox? PC. To go to war with other consoles is bad enough already And now laptops are gonna kick consoles in the During GPU Technology Conference in China last month Nvidia CEO Jensen Huang made a bold claim He showcased the GeForce RTX 2018 Max-Q GPU during his presentation What is Max-Q you ask? Max-Q is a design, thermal and electrical solutions and software all three put into one That allows slim gaming rig to support powerful GPU In other words, Max-Q technology make lightweight laptops very powerful Huang also added that the 2080 powered laptops will outperform PS5 consoles and Xbox Series X that are both not even released into the market yet. All we know is PS5 and Xbox Series X will support custom AMD silicon, but we have yet to see what the custom AMD silicon can actually deliver for the PS5 and Xbox. According to sources, GPU in the PS5 may be as quick as the regular RTX 2060, and if that's the case, then Huang's claim may be true. But don't be so quick to count the consoles out yet because they might have some pretty impressive exclusive that will help send them off the shelves. Don't we all love some horrible game physics? All this while, the only option we have has been Nvidia's physics and now AMD has finally announced their own version of physics known as FEMFX, which is a multi-threaded CPU library as part of its open source GPU open project, meaning the entire implementation source code is freely available under its existing GPU open licensing. Basically, FEMFX is a physics method for simulating deformation so that it can be used to implement all manners of realistic breaking, shattering, bending, even melting and many more more effects in games. It seems like Nvidia won't be taking this sitting down lah. During Nvidia's big GT conference 2019, they made an announcement saying that Physics 5.0 is here. That is right after AMD revealed their very own version of FEM FX. LOL! The Physics 5.0 is presumed to launch early 2020. And the headline feature of this new fancy Physics Effects Incorporated is FEM Finite Element Model. Green Team or Red Team? Which one is more real? You tell me. Uber bought nearly 600 acres of 
land for 9.5 billion to build its own track to experiment on self-driving cars. No doubt this will help solve all the driving issues we have in Malaysia long before flying cars do. If Uber's self-driving cars really jadi, then it is very likely for Uber to deploy self-driving cars in its ride-sharing service network. In case you didn't know, Volvo and Uber partner up since September 2016 to develop self-driving technology. Just last year June, Uber announced its latest self-driving car a Volvo XC90 SUV. Wow, robots are really taking over. Skynet is real. I only scared that people will start chabuting the black black thing from these self-drive cars la. Although it is an interesting invention, but do you think we humans will be fongsome enough to let a car drive us around la? I would love to sleep throughout my whole balik kampung journey, but I also don't want to wake up in heaven man. Let's see what the locals have to say. Uber self-driving car. Dengar <laughs> Uber. Uber partnered with Volvo to develop self-driving cars. Last year, they launched XC90, uh -huh. a self-driving car. So, do you like to drive? Yes, I do. Of course, not really. No. Yeah. Malaysians, we don't drive very well. <laughs> okay. So, so, they invented self-driving car to prevent crisis. What do you think about that, actually? I honestly don't know. I've never really been in a self-driving car before. I still think that even though humans can make error, but I still think machines can make error as well. It was workable. I think it's good for people like me. It really hates traffic jam. Would you trust a robot to actually drive your family around? It'll be a cool idea. <laughs> no, I may be skeptical at first, but if they can prove that the system is reliable enough, I may give it a try. Yep. Now, maybe we'll finally see people using their car signals properly. Here's a fun one. Seems like robots now know our boobs better than our boyfriends. What am I talking about? I'm talking about AI. We all know screening can lead to earlier detection of breast cancer so that we can treat it when it is still treatable. So, it is a priority in the field to figure out how to effectively detect any abnormal growths in our body. And da da da! Researchers from Google Health reported an AI model that can read mammograms more accurately than human experts. Less false positives, less false negatives. Girls, who do you trust? Tell me more about what you think about today's topics in the comment section below. This is MLM Monday Law Ins with me, Michelle. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye!